Hello everyone, my name is Manu Parimi and I'm an Applications Engineer at Plexim. I'd like to welcome you to this tutorial video on advanced network configurations of a Plex RT box. Before you continue watching this video, please follow the link in the description below to watch the basic tutorial video on setting up the RT box. Here's an outline of the topics we will cover in this video. As we discussed in the basic setup tutorial video, the RTBox supports three networking scenarios. If you are having trouble connecting to the RTBox using a self-assigned IP address or a dynamic IP address, you can configure the RTBox using a static IP address. First, make sure the RTBox is powered off. Remove the SD card from the slot on the RAID panel of your RTBox and put it into SD card reader connected to your host computer. The firmware for your RTBox is in the folder labeled Firmware of the RTBox target support package files. Copy the files located in this folder and place them on the root directory of the SD card. In this case, we have already copied these files onto the SD card. Next, create a new folder called config in the root directory of the SD card. Within this folder, create another folder called etc. Within the etc folder, create a third folder called network. Create a new text file called interfaces. Consult the RTBox manual for setting up static IP addresses. Copy the content shown here and enter it into the text file. Decide on a suitable private IP subnet that is different from your local network. I arbitrarily chose 192.168.0.3 for the RT box, but you can choose any other private IP subnet. For example, the ones shown on the screen. Save the file. Make sure to check the file name extension box and remove the .txt extension from the file. Eject the SD card from your PC and place it back into the RT box. Connect an Ethernet cable from the RT box either to an Ethernet port or an Ethernet adapter of your host computer. Power on the RT box. On Windows 10, open Network and Internet Settings. Click on Change Adapter Options to open Network Settings. Click on the appropriate network connection to open the Ethernet status window. Then, click on the Properties tab to open Ethernet Properties window. Then, select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on Properties. Here, manually edit the IP address and subnet mask of your host computer. Since I chose 192.168.0.3 for the RT box, I'm choosing 192.168.0.2 for the host computer. And my subnet mask, is 255.255.255.0. Then click OK. That's it. Now I have configured the static IP. The green ready LED should turn on. Next, open a new Plex model. And when you access the coder options window, you should be able to see your RT box when you search for available RT boxes. You should be then able to connect to it via its web interface. Alternatively, you can enter the IP address of your RT box in the target device tab here. You can also connect to the RT box web interface by entering http colon forward slash forward slash and your IP address into the address bar of any web browser of your choice.
Next, let's look at setting a custom hostname for the RT box. Since the IP address of the RT box is typically not known, it is more convenient to access the box by its hostname. As shown in the basic tutorial video, by default, the hostname is set to the MAC address with the prefix RT box. A custom hostname can be set for convenience. Power off the RT box, remove the SD card and connect it to the host computer. At the root directory of the SD card, create a folder called config and within this folder, create a new folder called Etsy. If you have configured the box using a static IP address, as we have shown earlier, you will likely have created these folders already. Next, create a new text file called hostname and enter any custom hostname of your choice. In this case, I would like to call my box Manu RT box. Save the file and make sure to remove the .txt extension from the file. Eject the SD card from your PC. Place it into the RT box and power on the box. Now, when I go to the Coder Options window, you can see the new custom hostname of the box in the list of available boxes. You can see the same custom hostname on the Info tab of the web interface when you connect to it. This concludes the tutorial video on advanced network configurations of the RT box. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thank you for watching.